Hi fam, how are you? This is your daily reading for November 11th. So again, 11, 11, 11. Big day, big significant day to make some changes happen. Uh, definitely opening a gateway and going on to this new phase of our life. So be open, be ready for it, get excited. I know I am. Uh, before I do the reading, I just wanted to say I am so grateful for all the, all the support you guys have given me. Uh, in the past couple days, a lot of you, like especially the people I know personally, have been coming up to me talking about how the readings are connecting. Now that the monthlies are going out, I'm starting to get feedback from those. It's overwhelming. I really, really appreciate all the support, and it just makes me feel so good. And I'm loving this little late-night ritual I have of recording even more, knowing that it's connecting with all of you and it's resonating. I just love it so much. You guys make me so happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I just need to just send you some love before we get this reading out because it's just making me feel a certain way and I'm all about it. So thank you. Let's get on with the reading. It's going to be some big stuff. I can feel it. So this is our rune today. This is Lagoose. I swear, out of the entire bag of runes, my Instagram feed, I swear, has like the same like five that just rotate <laughs> and repeat. I don't know what that says about this journey we're all on together, but it's real interesting. Um, so Laguz is the rune of being in the flow. So it can talk about ebb and flow and just kind of being in the rhythm and kind of surrendering it, surrendering to it and kind of going with the flow, essentially. Today we did get it in reverse, which doesn't mean that we're not flowing. That doesn't mean there isn't a flow. There's always a flow. Um, energy is fluid. Like that's just the nature of how it's going to go. What this particular rune means when it's in the reverse position, it's to me it's not necessarily it's something that's happening. I think it's a warning, something to it's just telling us to be aware of this, uh, to not be overreaching, to not be extending. So you think about yesterday's read that talked about yes, you have the strength to do whatever it is we're about to do, whatever this new beginning is. You have everything you need that it's going to take. This rune is saying don't push too hard. Yes, you're strong enough to do it. But that doesn't mean you have to work harder than necessary. And if you are working harder than necessary, I think that's the clue that you're starting to be in the wrong direction. I mean, you're leaning left a little bit. Like, it shouldn't be that stressful. Like, you shouldn't be stressed doing this. Are you going to put in some effort? Yes. Are you going to have to get your hands dirty? Yes. Doesn't mean you have to necessarily be on the struggle bus? No. I believe, to me, that's what this rune is saying. It's saying don't extend yourself too far because then you're just going to burn out and we need to run the race like this isn't a sprint so no sense wasting all our any energy right up front and again if it does feel like that probably heading in the wrong direction we can only go as fast as the river we can't outrun the river right well that was interesting had a little pocahontas moment so with that said um i pulled i believe this is called the spirit of the animals oracle i don't know i love the back of this card i have a friend who uh, works at the shop where I got this, and she I, she didn't know I had already bought it. Like, it, it was already mine. And I had walked in, and she was talking about this deck, and she had shown me the back of the cards and said this looked like me. I just thought that was, like, the best compliment ever. Like, with the major cardinal directions and these spirit animals <laughs> reminding her of me, I was like, all right, I'll take that. Thank you, boo. So, but ama it's an amazing image. Um, I thought this would be a great oracle deck to use today. I always do it this way, like I have the, the like the largest hands on the planet. But I thought we would do something that had to tie in with nature. We we're just talking about being in the flow and just being present, not overreaching. Because all the creatures in nature tend to have this amazing, just instant knowledge to just take what they need and exactly how they need and to not overextend. And everything just seems so beautiful there. I'm sure it's way more than what we perceive, but still, it looks amazing, and I'm all about it. I love it. All right. What do we need to know about this flow? I feel like I want a couple. Let's do, I feel like three. Actually, no, let's do, we'll do one in one. 11, 11, 11. Oh, no, I'm going to do three because we have three elevens. Why not? Oh, okay. We'll do that. Did you see that? One card was like, no, come in. All right. Let's see who we got. Oh, 
Ooh, one of my favorites. All about it. All right, so we got Peacock, symbol of vibrancy. I'm going to read the prompts after, so they're actually facing me and I can see them. And we got, oh, so cute. Sea otter, symbol of happiness. So we have vibrancy, happiness. Oh, talk about mystical. And we have black jaguar, old soul. All right. So peacock, you were born to shine and inspire. Oh, I talked about this yesterday. Just be, oh no, I did talk about it yesterday, but it was in one of the monthly readings. I think it was Sag. If you're a Sagittarius, watch the Sagittarius video. We totally talked about this for you yesterday. Um, you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be sure to be true. Oh, I can't read. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So being authentic. And I think this is being in the flow as well. Because it talks about just shining and inspiring. You're not inspiring by going up to someone and say, Hey, you should do it this way. Be like me. You're just living your life. And it's an example to the people around you. Easy as that. Sea otter. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Again, just living in the moment. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves your good destiny of love is sure. Hmm. Again, just enjoying it. Oh my god, I didn't realize until just now there's a little there's a little baby sea otter resting on her tummy. How stinking adorable is that? Oh that makes me think of, I want to say it was two days ago when I was doing the daily read and it talked about being protected and being safe. That's totally what that made me think of. Look at that little munchkin. So stinking cute. And then we have Black Jaguar, the old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. So we talked about yesterday, creating our new reality. What I love about all these cards, like especially Black Jaguar talked about having the power to create. You innately have this ability. You don't have to push for it. You don't have to strive it. It's yours. It's a natural part of you. And the other two cards just speak about being in the moment and living authentically and enjoying life and playing and just having this aura of love. Nothing is forced here. You can just allow it to be which I think really sums up not only today's rune, but also yesterday's. This trust that you can do it and you're capable of it without the feeling that you have to push for it. Just be yourself and allow it to happen through you. I remember there was this quote I read, totally not connected to any of this, um, but I remember the first couple times I read it, I didn't understand it. And at the moment, I don't know the exact words, but the gist of it is... Oh, darn it. I wish I could remember the words. But the gist of it is, no matter how we interact with the world around us, it isn't us. So, like, when we love, it's not that we are, you know, acting out love. Love is operating through us. Love is doing the loving. You know, we are just the conduit of that love reaching out into the rest of the universe. So it's not necessarily about us. It's just about this emotion and sharing which, I, honestly, I feel like that's kind of the message here when we're talking about not overreaching and not pushing and not exerting ourselves. It's just allowing the magic to be and allowing it to happen. Because whatever it is that we've been creating, it's naturally blossoming. Like a flower. No one has to, like, go into the dirt and pull the flower out of the ground. It just grows and it just happens. All we have to do with, you know, water it and make sure it got sunlight and all these wonderful things. Oh, stop it. Oh, this makes me happy. All right. So we got the star. Beautiful card. Card of hope. Optimism. Expecting the best. Believing in miracles. Eight of wands. Communication. Swiftness. Speed. Empress. Creative energy to the max. This is Mother Nature. This is abundance. This is nurturing. This is... I mean, this is everything. This is life right here. Ace of coins could possibly be having a new offer coming in. This could be work. This could be finances. Definitely some new type of beginning here. 
talking about an ace. Ooh, fun stuff. Oh, this is totally today's reading. So we got the sun in reverse. Again, you can't really make the sun card a negative card no matter what, because this is shining life and vitality and light and love and all these amazing things. In reverse, I almost feel like this is speaking to what we were talking about, like forcing it. You don't have to force this. You can just be and enjoy and love it and cherish it. And then again, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, which a lot of times is patience because we're waiting for the harvest to ripen. In reverse, again, impatience. We're trying to rush it. We, you know, aren't allowing things to happen. We're not allowing those things to grow. We're over here trying to pull the flowers out of the ground. That's not, that's not a thing. Certain things take time. So there are other things we can do in preparation of this wonderful moment when these beautiful things happen. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Again, another new offer. Emotional contentment, joy, love, true love. Underneath that, Four of Wands, Foundation, Stability. Again, 1111. This is some major, major stuff, my friends. Like, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Things are now happening. If not today, very soon. The shift is coming. I'm like, I'm not done. I just want to keep pulling cards. It's crazy. Beautiful. Okay. Like, I was just thinking about this. So, here we go. Seven, right? Yep. No. Nine. See? That's why I had to look again. I'm over here not knowing my numbers. So, nine of cups. Feeling super confident. Feeling in control. Feeling independent. We got this. We're doing this. All the things. Here's the seven. That's why I was li picking up that card, looking at this card. So we have emotional contentment. We're feeling good about s ourselves. We're feeling happy, content, blissful. And then we have this Seven of Swords energy. I don't feel like this is someone trying to trick us, because that's usually what this card means. I feel like this is almost like a self, like a self saboteur. This is our own inner voice that's like, really, you think you can do that? Who said you can be that fabulous? Who said you can be that amazing? This is a, like an inner saboteur kind of messing around this like this girl is like that little voice inside of your mind like <laughs> i'm gonna get you don't listen to this voice this is a warning against this voice not authentic the voice that's talking to you she's manipulating she's the lie because this is you the nine of cups content fulfilled emotionally happy like this is where we want to be because right after that we also have the judgment card which to me is a reminder it's a note that say hey this thing you're chasing this thing that Actually, you're not even chasing because it's being, it's calling to you. It is attracting the right opportunities to get you to this understanding. This is your life purpose. This is profound. This is your calling. This is like your higher self. You're being called to your higher self. So this is, this is genuine. There's no, there's no faking this. There's no tricking you here. Like, this is your purpose calling you. You can, you're not about to trick yourself. That's not, a, that's not how this system works. So that inner saboteur is going to try and keep you from getting to this place and get and like stop you from feeling all this joy and contentment and happiness and bliss with this new path you're on. I mean, look, I mean, if you look at the rest of these cards, this is amazing. Swiftness, optimism, hope, abundance, creativity, new finances, new wealth, new prosperity. You've got the sun card, which is just the most positive card ever. You've got solid foundations. You've got true love. So many powerful, wonderful energies are in this reading. This one negative card is just a warning. Hey, if this little voice starts popping up in your head, shut her down. We don't listen to this voice because we are feeling like this. You even think about the oracle cards. Otter talked about just living in love and happiness. Peacock told us to be vibrant and shine because that's how we're going to inspire others. And then you have Jaguar that's just reaffirming, like, hey, you can do this. And honestly, you've probably done it before in some past lifetimes. This is a piece of cake. Just be you. Do you. And the magic will happen. Oh, my God. So excited. I think this is the best reading we could have ever had. I'm, like, throwing cards all over the place. I'm just like, ah, that's amazing. Super, super excited. If you guys had any doubts going into this week about where you're going, what you're doing, if you should be doing this, if you made the right choice, please believe me when I say you did the right thing. Whatever that was, however it's manifesting in your life, you did the right thing. Awesome, awesome job. 
I think we're going to have an amazing end to this weekend. I know it's Sunday, so we're almost out of this week into the next week. I think it's going to close out very, very strong. Next week is going to hold even more opportunities. And I think now that we're kind of going through today, 11, 11, 11, we're walking through that gateway. These opportunities are really going to be opening up and starting to manifest. And I think they're going to start coming in faster than you think. That's where this Eight of Swords, I mean Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands comes in. That speed. And it's communication too. So I think the more we talk about it, the more we put it out there, the more we really work on manifesting it, even quicker we will see these coming into our lives, which is absolutely amazing so excited to hear from you and see how this is playing out in your life i hope to see a bunch of comments below i hope this resonated um, i can't wait to hear from you again if you want to book a private reading with me all my info is in the link below or in the box below oh, i don't even know what else to say i think this is amazing amazing i'm gonna film the last few november videos so i can get all the 12 signs out. I am almost there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my last few signs for being patient with me. We're going to have an amazing end of this week. Everyone enjoy your weekend. Have fun. Enjoy. I hope you have some special plans going on. Um, if anyone's in Hawaii, if you're at the Bruno Mars concert tonight, I hope it was a blast. I'm sure it was. Love you all. I will see you tomorrow and have an amazing weekend. Love you guys. Bye.